yeah me and winter we're breaking up at this point i've just had it with all of the shenanigans um yeah and I'm sometimes done. it's just time to say goodbye yeah yeah it's not me it's you <sighs> yeah <laughs> Thank you for being here. No, and, thank um, you. <laughs> basically, what's it like, especially because you have a unique role as a truck driver, what's it like being a female out on the road and being responsible for this large piece of equipment? Although I know you totally have it in the bag because you're a mechanic and, and you can handle oh, all yeah. of it, but, <laughs> but you will be. <laughs> Oh, come me. I will be in May. I've, yeah. yeah. I've seen you crawl under a truck and tell me all about it. Yeah. Um, what's, what's that like, especially, especially in some of the terrain that you drive in and, and the things that you have to deal with day to day, what's that like? You know, it's exhilarating, mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of ways, uh, but not only to be able to operate a big machinery and have all of that, you know, a big piece of machinery and have all of that responsibility, um, a lot of people can be overwhelmed by that, but I find it awesome because I know that I will do the very best job I can do. Whereas you don't necessarily know that about somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea that I'm not restricted to a dress. You know, I'm not restricted to an office job. If I don't want one, I can get out there and see the world mm -hmm. and experience things as part of my vocation. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. Who's the most influential woman, you know, and what have been some really inspirational things about her in your personal life? You know, that's a really hard question to answer because I feel like narrowing it down to just one woman, uh, really doesn't do it justice. It doesn't. So does I it? would have to say it's a collective of the women who get things done. They okay inspire me because they get things done. They inspire me because they don't settle for the world telling them what they're capable of. They tell the world what they're mm -hmm. capable of, mm -hmm. which is to me is, is amazing and exactly how it should always be. And so I love seeing that there's uh, so many women that fall into that category. It would be almost an injustice to name just one. I see that in you as well, the way you've gone out and you're like, I'm going to drive and I'm going to do this thing and I'm going to take this trip and I'm going to go, was it Thailand that you went to? Yes. Yes. I'm going to take this trip. I'm going to go to Thailand. I'm going to work at an elephant sanctuary. And that comes through in your personal life as well as driving. And also, um, I'm going to be a mechanic. I'm going to, I'm going to learn this and I'm going to go to this conference and learn about electric trucks because that's coming in the future and all of these things. So I really admire that about you. So it makes sense that oh, that would be you. the uh, uh, inspirational part of, you know, the women that you look up to. Eleanor Ro Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. What dreams do you have for the future? Personally, professionally, travel wise, any of it. Every dream, every dream ever. Okay. <laughs> it yeah, like I like sometimes it, it mm -hmm. seems like, um, Again, that's like, you know, one of those categories to narrow it down to just one is, is difficult, but I think overarching, if I really wanted to narrow it down to just one, I would have to say, I would love to travel the world and volunteer on more animal sanctuaries mm -hmm. and take my abilities and my skill sets and utilize them to help them, you know, take care of these rare and uh, exotic animals. Uh, do you have any trips planned? Currently I'm working on a trip to Ireland next okay. year. Yeah. I don't know if they have any, um, animal sanctuaries there. This is more of a personal, uh, trip for, uh, my sister, my sister recently passed away and she always wanted to go. So as a tribute, I've decided I'm going to go and take her spirit with me and we're going to enjoy Ireland. I think that's great. I'm sorry for your loss, but I like what you're doing with that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's it. You great. know, it's important. It's important to remember and honor the people that you love who have moved on, um, in good ways mm -hmm. and, and solidified ways. And I just feel like this would be a great thing. She always wanted to go. So I'm going to take her. Which of your in again, personally, professionally, all of it, which of your own accomplishments are you most proud of? I think of all of the accomplishments, uh, I'm, I'm proud of, uh, my ability, my ever growing ability. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm so proud of that because not only have choosing to have the courage to grow it uh, is an accomplishment by itself, but having these expanded abilities opens up so much more opportunity. And I'm excited yes. to see what's coming. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to uh, chat with me today about this. Yeah, it was great to see you guys. Thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Great to see you as well. Um, Look forward to the next time I get to see you and we'll take that ride along. Bye.